Dr. Ryan Trushel with your tropical update for September 20th. There are two active systems in the tropics today, but no threats to the U.S. Tufkan's lower to five in all regions. The climatological peak of hurricane season is a few weeks behind us, and other than Hermine, September has been relatively quiet. Names are clicking off the list, but the storms are weak and not major threats to the U.S. There was brief excitement this week over Tropical Storm Julia, the quote, storm that formed over land, unquote, that, spoiler alert, actually didn't, but Julia amounted to a little more than a couple inches of rain from the South Florida to Carolina coast. Its remnants are currently moving out to sea off the Mid-Atlantic, where they shall annoy forecasters no more. Elsewhere, Tropical Storm Carl is a minimal tropical storm located a few hundred miles northeast of the Lesser Antilles. Carl will continue trekking west-northwest for the next few days before turning north and northeast near Bermuda as a trough steers it out to sea. There is a chance that Carl becomes the second major hurricane of the season as it does, but there is no chance of it threatening the U.S. Minimal Tropical Storm Lisa is also out there, located in the far eastern Atlantic. Lisa, Lisa is even less of a threat than Carl, if that is possible. Lisa will dissipate within five days as it moves northwest into an unfavorable environment, thousands of miles from the U.S. At long range, ensembles are suggesting that the next wave to roll off Africa could remain at low latitude and potentially develop in the vicinity of the Lesser Antilles or Caribbean Sea in 8 to 10 days. As most October hurricane threats to the U.S. originate in the Caribbean, this feature is worth keeping an eye on next week. From an overall activity perspective, about 33% of the season is left, with about 30% of U.S. landfall risk remaining. Of note is that while two-thirds of all major hurricane landfalls happen before September 20th, nearly 85% happen before October 1st. So we are quickly running out of time for the really big storms, and there's nothing on the horizon, so you can safely enjoy National Alpaca Farm Days of this weekend in peace. Say hi to those 100% positive ungulates for me, and now that you know what's happening in the tropics, keep watching the skies.